Uh, yeah, I would say no. It's uh, yeah, about 10, 12. So you're doing all right now. You're just you're just still cool. Just chilling out. Meet the mats. It's the calm before the storm at their house. Well, if he was pitching in about 20 minutes, I'd be uh, a little stressed out. <laughs> For Ron Matz, turning on the World Series and seeing his son Steven is a moment he's imagined for years. When he picked up a baseball at, you know, at the age of two, which sounds crazy, he actually just had the nice, smooth throw with his arm. And I even said to my wife, I said, he's got something. That something is a powerful fastball and a wicked curve. He got drafted out of high school. When the draft came upon, you know, the L.A. Dodgers actually were the first team that were interested in him. And he turned that down in hopes that the Mets would pick him up. This family has a long line of Mets fans in it. Grandpa Burt traces it back to the 1950s. Well, I started out as a Dodger fan. And then uh, when um, they left for uh, California, it was kind of a down period of time. And... Uh, there was no way, of course, if a fellow from Brooklyn could ever root for the Yankees. I mean, <laughs> that was just forget about it. <laughs> in 2010, Stephen underwent Tommy John surgery, but he came back and battled his way through the minor league. We went to Binghamton, and he pitched the championship game. When he came out of the game, 8,000 people stood up and cheered. I looked, and tears came to my eyes. From tears of joy to wild displays of excitement, Grandpa is not shy about showing his support. This video of him celebrating went viral. Hey, is that Grandpa Bird? Psst, psst. Hey, is that Grandpa Bird? <laughs> Can I take a picture? Well, are you uh, more famous than Kim Kardashian now? You think you're? Like, uh, oh, definitely. No question. <laughs> I mean, let's face it. She has nothing on me. Stephen Matz takes the mound for the first time at City Field. Stephen Matz made his debut June 28, 2015. One of the best overall debuts in recent history. He got the win and went three for three with four RBIs. When he's out there on the mound, I guess there's just something about it. I just kind of turn everything off and I just expect Steve to do what Steve does. And as a proud pop, he keeps mementos of his son's journey. Sometime I just did it so I figured for Steve, further. when he gets older, you know, he kind of makes fun of me for doing it, but I said, someday, Steve, You'll go through this and it'll be like, you can show your children and your grandchildren. As you can see, hopefully there's plenty more to come. And on Saturday, the left-hander will take the mound at City Field in game four against the Royals. And this is what you dream of, this is what you work for. Um, you know, I was in all their shoes, you know, once. I was, you know, in those little camps, I was in those little league camps, I was in travel ball, I did all that, that whole circuit. So, you know, this is what you work for, so it's a real blessing. It's a day the entire Max family is looking forward to. So we'll take a couple different cars and head off to City Field. I'll probably get there around 7 o'clock in the morning. I take the train in. I'm not going to mess around with them parking lot. 